What if the self you claim to own doesn't actually exist? Right now you believe you're reading this as one unified person. But neuroscientist Antonio Damasio found something disturbing. Brain has no central command center. No CEO watching the show. Just separate regions firing independently. Creating the illusion of a single you. Stitching moments together like a desperate film editor. Split brain patients prove this. Cut the corpus callosum connecting brain hemispheres. And suddenly you have two conscious beings and one skull. The left hand grabs a cup while the right refuses. Both claim they're you. Both are right. Eastern philosophy saw this centuries ago. Buddhism taught anatta. No self exists. Just a river of sensations pretending to be solid ground. Descartes insisted cogito ergo so. But what if I think doesn't require an eye at all? Here's the gut punch. And belief you claim defines you is scattered across neural networks, constantly reconstructed, perpetually false. You're not a noun, you're a verb, a process masquerading as permanence. What do you think? Is the self a beautiful necessary fiction, or does recognizing its illusion set you free?